In this video, we'll cover how to create a great sounding custom drum kit in Logic Pro X for electronic drums in less than 5 minutes. I'll be utilizing the Drum Machine Designer in Logic Pro X and will be using the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit. We'll start out by creating an electronic drum kit track using the empty kit. Now let's take a look at the Drum Machine Designer plugin. If the inspector panel isn't visible, click on the inspector icon to open it. Next, locate the Drum Machine Designer plugin, which displays DMD, and click on it. This will open the Drum Machine Designer interface. I'll resize the Drum Machine Designer interface so we can take a closer look at what's going on behind the scenes. Let's take a closer look at the Drum Machine Designer. You'll notice that it has defaulted to the Kick 1 drum location. You'll also notice that Logic Pro X has defaulted to the Kick Pieces section and defaulted to Kick Drums ready for you to select. On a side note, you'll notice several pieces are in a lighter shade of gray with a download icon off to the right. I'm a little tight on space on my laptop, so I have only been downloading pieces on demand, at which time they turn white in color. I will start out by selecting the Radiant Kick Drum. Next, I'll go to the panel below and fine-tune my kick drum to the sound of my liking. This is a diagram of how Logic Pro X maps my electronic drum kit, the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit. You can see how it matches up with the drum machine designer. It also gives a friendly description in the Alesis position column. By using the mapping cheat sheet for my electronic drum kit, this is what the drum machine designer looks like after fully configured. As you can imagine, it is very easy to switch out drums and modify this kit on the fly. Now, when we expand the drum track in Logic Pro X, you can see the individual pieces of the drum kit that I just configured in the Drum Machine Designer. Once you get the kit the way that you want it, you can save it for further use. After tweaking the kit further, you can save it with the same name or rename it to preserve the previous version. 